Um, music is a very big thing for me and normally when I'm, uh, uh, I'm at home I kind of want to have music and sometimes when you come back from trips you know, I review pictures at the same time. So I'm gonna, before that I'm going to introduce to you a bit about the equipment that we have helping us out today. We've got an iView TV that is Windows 7 enabled. We have a very, very cool HP Touch Smart PC. That's it, it's just that screen, everything's there. And we've got a couple of NV laptops, HP NV laptops, very sexy uh, pieces of equipment as well. So, um, coming back to this, uh, I'm going to pull up some music. Uh, for example, if you here, yeah, I know I love it. <laughs> Ninja tuna. <laughs> yeah. Now, for example, if uh, you want to listen to music and you want to view your pictures at the same time. Now, on the previous versions, you will not be able to do that because the moment you exit from this, your music will be cut off. But now you can. Um, so you can have your pictures. That's my picture in Italy. You can have your pictures running and you can have music at the same time. So Windows 7 will allow you to do that. Okay, now we're going to uh, kind of show you a couple of things that, it, uh, that Windows 7 will allow you to do. One uh, is called the push content scenario. Um, what happens is, for example, if Dennis comes over to my place and he has a couple of photos that he wants to show me without having to, you know, kind of transfer, he wants to play it, for example, to my TV. Now, Windows 7 is DLNA enabled, so this allows him to push content to any device that's on my network. So, all he has to do is select the photos that he wants and play to. There is a play to function on the right click button, and he can play to either the touch smart or the ID uh, as, the, uh, as it has detected. So he's decided to play it to my iView, so we are able to view his photos. So this is pushing, Windows 7 allows you to push content from a device um, um, to, to a device that's connected to my network or to a DLNA capable device. So for example, if I have a photo frame that is Wi-Fi enabled, enabled and DLNA enabled, he can play to the pictures to the photo frame. Right, so this is a push content. Another thing we're going to do is to pull content. So, for example, imagine if the touch smart was in another room, in, a, in, a, in a, another part of the house, but it has all my recorded TV. In. So it's a tuner card and it records TV on a pay TV channel. So it has. Um, uh, but but I'm in the living room and I want to pull out content from that central PC. I don't even have to take a step at all. All I have to do is go to my Windows Media Center. And as you can see on on this TV itself, there are no there's no recorded TV. So it has detected the touch smart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull content from another library. And there you go. So I can watch the programs that have been recorded um, on the touch smart that's at another end of the house. So this is pulling content um, uh, via Windows 7. Um, the kind of last scenario we're going to show you is what you've been hearing the whole afternoon, which is a home group. Um, within a home environment, uh, what we can do is set up a home group. And um, so, for example, three or four family members, you can share videos, you can share music, files. And this is not just pushing and pulling content, this is being able to copy and share, for example, your music photos and stuff. So home group then allows you to do this. Um, so, for example, again, if Dennis comes over and he says, Eunice, I've got photos that I want you to see, um, but uh, or, or, or he has photos on, on my computer that he wants to take from. So all he needs to do is to join my home group. In order for Dennis to join my home group, all he needs is a password. And all he needs to do is key in this password into his computer, join my home group, and this is a one-time thing. So the next time he comes over to my house, he's automatically detected in my home group. So this allows us to share files, he can copy whatever photos he wants, music, videos, over to his file, and um, to his computer. And this is really, especially very convenient within the home environment. So, um, you know, whether your friends come over, you want to share stuff with them, or you want to share stuff within the family as well. So it's something that home group will allow you to do. And you can choose, uh, maybe you don't want to share your documents, you only want to share your pictures and your videos and your music. So this is something that uh, allows you to do that. So we've kind of demonstrated quite a few scenarios today, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask.